hello how are you guys doing today i've decided that i want to have the skunk salad so i went and bought the ingredients and i'm going to make it i spent about 25 dollars on produce um about 15 dollars worth of conk some seasoning and things that i already own that was already in my home vinegar salt i don't think i should but y'all everybody know about salt you know regular white salt salt black pepper i kind of use i like red pepper um some type of pepper i like a little spice i like mine spicy but you know you can pick and choose whether you want to have spice or not um, I washed down all my vegetables. I peeled the stickers off. Of course, you would hate to get a piece of stick in your mouth now, wouldn't you? I washed down all the vegetables. Um, right now, I'm peeling off the carrots. I'm sorry, not carrots. Cucumbers. Lord. They all begin the same better I'm infatuated with vegetables right now. So, I'm peeling the cucumbers. Just knocking some of the green off. Not completely all of it. Just some of it. I like that green crunch on some of it. So not completely all of it. Just taking the blade, going down the side. That one was a little rough cut, but hey, I ain't no expert. I'm just doing what I'm doing. It's all about the flavor. I like the crunch a little, so I'm going to leave that on some of them, but not on in all of them. I have four cucumbers, so I got my four cucumbers cut down. If y'all hear that noise, that's my microwave going off. I put my i put four of my lemons limes four of my limes and the three sour oranges into the microwave to try to soften them up but they're still quite hard so i'm gonna put them back in for a little longer um put them in like another 30 minutes i mean 30 seconds just to try to soften them up some also, I have this bowl on the side here. This is my garbage bowl, so I don't have to keep traveling back and forth to the garbage can. I'm just going to dump these shells, skins, pills, all of that about the same thing in that little garbage bowl. I have my, um, I, Lord, have y'all seen mangoes this big? I'm from Miami, so we have all types of mangoes, the long skinny ones, the ones that's like a banana, the ones with the strings in it, but I'm honestly, I've never seen one quite this big. What is Publix doing to these things? I gave him a good wash down, and I'm going to start to peel him up too. Um, I'm just going to take the skin off, and then I'm going to kind of... I'm going to dice everything at one time, but I'm just getting everything prepped right now. So, I'm getting the skin off of everything, getting it down, and then I'm going to come back and start cutting it down into the chunks, the pieces that I like. Now I'm going to start chopping everything up. Now that I got everything prepped, washed, cleaned, I've got my limes and sour oranges. Oh, they still kind of hard. Out of the microwave. Um, they still a little hard, so I'm going to apply some pressure here on the counter. Just give them a good smash down. Rotating them a little. Soften them up a little. I don't know. Usually I use regular oranges. I'm going to be honest. But the store had these sour oranges on sale. So I was like maybe they'll add a little bit to the flavor. So I brought them. Um, I'm actually trying two new things that I haven't tried before. Um, I have these nectarines. Um, they look a little different. But they was on the same table. So maybe they just came from a different stock. But... I had these with uh, salt, which I'm not supposed to have, I know. But um, actually, Lucas, the little Lucas spray before I, the little Lucas um, powder. And it was so good that I was like, oh, I don't know how they would taste in a vinegar, um, salty kind of salad. But we make it today. So, I'm going to add one, maybe a couple of pieces of these to my own personal batch. Not to the big batch, but to my personal batch. Maybe I'll start a new tray. So right now, I'm going to start off being that 
my opinion is that the cucumbers is kind of the base of the salad. I'm going to start with the cucumbers. As I look at these ingredients, I think I bought uh, way too much ingredients for the amount of cucumbers I have. I only have two, four cucumbers. So, I'm going to start off by cutting them in half. And then after in half, I take uh, the two sides and I cut them in three. Trying to give a nice crunch, a nice chunk of vegetable in each bite. And also, being that this is the first thing we cut in, the size of this is going to determine the size of the other vegetables. Like I said, I believe, in my opinion, that the cucumber is the base of the salad. So, um, this size is going to determine, like, the other sizes of the other, um, the other vegetables that I'm going to cut. Now, depending on the size of the cucumbers that you all may get, if you decide to make this, um, then you would decide on what the, you know, the shape, the, the size of your other vegetables are going to be. I like mine. I like, personally, I like the vegetables. I came for the vegetables. That good seasoned vegetable, I like it. I like crunch. I like crunch, and you'll notice, too, that I don't like my things too, um, like my onions, I put the onions in last because I want my onions to definitely have that bite. I don't like the onions to get soft and whittled. Um, now, the cucumber can stand a little bit more of the lime and stuff. It takes a little longer for it to soak in. So, also, you want to take that into consideration when you cut in your pieces. You don't want them too big so it's like, oh, it didn't get flavor to it. It didn't get seasoned. You want to have a nice size so that you can experience the flavor and you can also have the texture that you like. Some people take theirs a little small. I like a crunch. Now this right here may look funny to y'all. You know in the middle of the cucumber or a, um, cu a pickle when you eat it, it got that little, the little middle part with the seeds in it. Sometimes I cut that out because really Honestly, it's like just water. It's full of liquid. So, some of them, I cut it off. I cut it out the middle. I really want this right here, the flesh of the fruit. Is that good for you? Is that bad for you? I don't know. Is that personal preference? Yes, it's personal preference for me. So, on a couple of them that I see, it's like a majority of it is that I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right off. To me, it makes your salad more watery. I don't want watery salad. I want it to be. Now, honestly, this might be something good to add to a um, detox drink or something like that. I probably would be. Hmm, I'm going to have to look that up. But, yeah, you see how this one is here? And you can see all the seeds and all that. I'm going to cut some of that off. Or even this one. This one is even bigger. I'm going to cut that off because it's still flesh over here. It's still a good amount of flesh over here when I cut that out. I don't I don't care for that as much as I want the flesh. I want that, that meat. Okay, so now I got these strips. See how this one? See, look. I, I don't want that. I'll take that. This right here can go in the garbage bowl. Thank you, garbage bowl. All that going in the garbage bowl. Even though I feel like I'm doing something wrong by putting it in the garbage bowl. I'm going to have to look up a recipe. If y'all know a recipe or something or a detox idea that I can use these for, let me know. That doesn't taste too bad. It's just a cucumber. Might make us some nice little snack. Should have just, huh. This one right here a little big, so I'm going to cut them up a little bit. I don't want them big and offensive, but I also don't want them small and non-existent. So this is about the size of about the size of my finger. Then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut them down into nice size chunk. Uh, what is that? A two by two? I'm gonna go across all these and cut them down, and I'm gonna add them to the bowl. That's gonna be the beginning of the salad. That's gonna be the base. added the cucumbers and the tomatoes I basically diced the tomatoes about the same size as the cucumbers I keep an eye on it it's a couple of pieces maybe not broken down 
as much as I like them to. I'll break them down. Um, I diced up two of the tomatoes and put them in there. I reserve one in case it's too much in a bowl or just, you know, eyeball them and see how it looks. Now, I'm going to do the bell pepper. I'm going to say this. I don't always use bell pepper. But bell pepper gives it a signature taste. Like a... It's the taste that the bell pepper makes. Now, with bell pepper, I'll say this. I don't make the bell pepper as large as the others. I actually like to make it a little smaller. Maybe because it's personal preference. I don't like bell pepper as much. But I will make it, I would say, at least half the size of the other chunk. So, I'm just going to chunk about half of the bell pepper. I don't like as much. I don't like it to be as strong, as prevalent as the other tastes. But I like to have that crunch that it brings. It does bring a nice hint of flavor. So maybe maybe a third of a bell pepper, not quite half of it. And I'll just cut it down into some nice sizes. Just so you can have that taste here and there. Don't want it to be in every spoonful. Don't want it to be overpowering. But, oh, what's that? Yeah, sometimes I even like a little jalapeno. This time I didn't buy any jalapenos. I'm um the jury is still out on jalapenos. I'm gonna say that I'm not 100% sure I like jalapenos, but I went on ahead and I added, like I said, about a quarter of the um, bell pepper. This was a whole bell pepper, and this is what I got left. So I guess it's about a quarter. It's all eyeball. It's all to taste. Now here come Big Bertha. Big Birthday is good because Big Birthday have a little ripeness, softness on its end. And I'm be honest, I personally don't like it, so I'm throwing it out. But for the most part, it's nice and um, hard, which I like. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it down off the seed. So, I can get some nice pieces. I'm just cutting down onto the seed as far as I can go and then across. I'm going to be honest now. When I was peeling this up, I almost cut my own hand. Baby, you talking about the video, the comfort, and all that would have been a, something of my, huh, of my fondest dream, or my unfond dream. How about that? Because I would have went over there and laid down somewhere. I would not have been sitting over here still playing with this whole, I mean, this fruit. Had I cut myself. So. I'm basically just cutting the top half off. And cutting it into wedges. So I can get it off of the seed. I wish that I knew how to um, get a better angle on the camera. I would have to show y'all. I can take a picture and insert it. Here. There. Somewhere. I'm just going to say this. I just want to take it. Mmm, got a lot of strings in it. Oh, that was nice. You're supposed to spit on camera, huh? I guess I'm going to have to edit that out. But, I never had one so big, so, I'm going to just taste it. It's big. It's juicy. It's sweet. Okay, well, I got about the whole top of it off. And I'm going to dice it a little smaller than the cucumber. Remember, the cucumber is the base. This is, the cucumber is like the lettuce in my eyes. And everything else is like the topping. So, the cucumber will want to be the bigger. I'm going to go ahead and dice this up. And add it on in there. Now, this fruit part is not supposed to overwhelm. The fruit part is an accent. So, it shouldn't be the same amount as tomato or the same amount as the um, cucumber. Of course not, because remember the cucumber is the base. But I bet I took the top of it off, the top half off, and I'm going to go ahead and slice it up and add it in. Now, I'm going to add my pineapple. I'm going to be honest. Usually, I buy a whole pineapple. You know, the raw pineapple need to be cut. But this time, 
I took the easy way out. No lie. And I bought this one because the one in the container already peeled, already cored, was the same price as the whole one. So I went for this one. Um, my daughter love pineapple. I'm not gonna add the whole thing because sis probably would pick it out. Also, I don't want the sweetness to overpower. So I'm gonna cut once again probably one third of it right now that's about four slices here i'm gonna go ahead and chunk these and add them all in and maybe a little more just to looking at it i want i want it all to have a certain look for it you it's you know it's eyeballing you know eyeballing when you eyeball it you know what you like and what you don't like so add accordingly especially you making it for yourself you ain't making it for nobody. If you're making it for somebody, then you want to be considered as what they like, then you make it according to what they like. Um, basically, tidbits. That's what it's called. Y'all know I like pineapple. If y'all watched the last video, y'all know I like pineapple. Now, also, this all these um, fruit, I ain't going to say the bell pepper, but the mango, what I have left, I almost dropped the whole salad in the sink now. I might have went down after it. Um, the mangoes, um, this half that I have left, I can cut this up and freeze it and use it for my smoothies. I don't typically like mango, but I'm going to start. I'm going to try it a little more. Now, like I told y'all, I like my onions crisp, so the onions I save for last. Plus, you know, who don't want to? I don't want to be crying. I like onions. I like the flavor of onion, so yes, honey, I'm putting a whole onion in there. I'm once again giving it a rough chop. It's no science to it. That's my word, huh? <laughs> it's no science to it. Rough chop, nice pieces. What you like? I like onion. I like my onion to stay crisp and crunchy, so I don't make it too small. Some people don't like onions at all, and you want to fool them. <laughs> Or you don't want to put it in at all. If you want to fool them, make it small. So they don't even tell. They can't really tell the texture. Me, personally, I like them big. So I'm cutting my big. A rough chop on these hands. Alright, this is the long call. I am back and I am got all my vegetables in here. I added a little salt and a little pepper just to bring out some of the moisture of the vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and start to add in the lemons. Sorry, the limes. The juice and the limes I cut them in half and I'm just juicing them, forking them over. And I, now, I'm going to say this. Remember I said I have never tried these bitter what is it called what i said it's called sour oranges i just licked it and got a little taste for it before i added it and oh my god it's super sour i don't think i want to add that like my tongue is burning like i'm mad that i added it i usually use regular oranges but i was like let me try these since they was on sale and that's what i get for trying